Hello and welcome, this is Jennifer. I got a lot of requests to do a product release close-up video featuring the newest products from Lawn Fawn. Now I will warn you, I'm gonna have to go through this pretty quick because there are a lot of products in this release, including stamps, dyes, inks, and more. I'm hoping that this video helps you decide if any of these products are right for you. Let's go ahead and dive in. First we have stamps. This is the Toboggan Together set. I think this is my favorite in this release. The images are just adorable. This is perfect for building a fun scene. So you can put things like the tree or the pile of snowballs or presents on the little sled and you can have the deer pulling the sled or you can have the penguins playing with it too. You can put a little Santa hat on top of the critters. Now Lawn Fawn, I think their images, I've said this before, are perfect to practice any of your coloring techniques. So these would be great for practicing with Copics or colored pencils or even watercolor. Their sentiments are always fun too. I like that they have handwritten sentiments and also some font sentiments that you can use together. Here's a card I made using the little reindeer from the set. I'll have a video showing how I created this card in a few days. And you'll see I even gave the reindeer a glowing nose. My guess is that this will be the most popular set in this release. And as always, Lawn Fawn is really good about making matching die sets available for their stamp sets. Next we have Ready, Set, Snow. I think this one's going to be popular too. It's got the adorable snow globe. You can stamp a little snow bank to go along inside of the snow globe. There are even the little sentiments that you can stamp as kind of like a label on the side of the snow globe. And then you have all these tiny little pieces that you can put inside to create different types of scenes. You can do something a little more elegant with the trees and the snowflakes or the houses or something cute with little snowmen. You can also take any of the other lawn fawn critters and put them inside too. Now I am going to show you the die set that also goes with this or can be used separately. This is the Ready Set Snow Shaker die set. You can see that it coordinates nicely with the stamp set, but you could use it separately too. Now this set has all the dies that you need to make a fun shaker card out of your little snow globe. So you can use these dies to create the little windows, put a piece of acetate in there, and put lots of little goodies inside to shake around. I'll be sure to use this in a future video, but also check out Lawn Fawn's blog. They have a lot of great how-to videos that show many ways you can use these products. And check it out, you can use these together or separately use this little background of snow. Kind of the sky is the limit with using these sets along with other products too. I really like when Lawn Fawn offers backdrops. This snowy backdrop has little dots and stars mixed together and you can stamp it twice to cover a note card. I think it'd be fun to stamp this in white pigment ink on a craft note card, then stamp it again slightly offset with a colorful dye ink. The nice thing about this is it's clear so you can line it up to do that slightly offset stamping. I like that the sentiment all is calm, all is bright is long, so it fits across a card, which I think it's always fun to have a sentiment that's long that way. And I just think that backdrop will go great with a lot of these stamp sets. Next we have Bah Humbug. I just think these the names of these stamp sets alone are fantastic. Now this is one of those stamp sets that's really well thought out. There's lots of things that you can kind of build together to create something fun. You can have the little sheep holding a little knitting piece or have a hat or the string of lights. That little string of lights you can add to lots of critters uh, to create fun things. I've done some of my own string of lights in the past and I'm glad that now I can just stamp this. There are just so many creative ways you can put these images together. One thing that I'd like to do is stamp these cute little sheep and color them in with a white snow marker just to give it some fun dimension. Now the white snow marker is what I used on this card that I showed you earlier. See that white kind of fluffy snow that you see underneath him with the fun dimension? I did that with the Marvy snow marker which I'll show here. Now all you do is you color this on, you heat it up with a heat gun and it puffs up and I thought that'd be fun on those sheep. I will show you more about how this marker works when I do my card video on that little reindeer card that I just showed you and I'll be up in a few days. You could also use embossing paste on these little sheep to give them a little bit of texture. Now there is a die set available as always. Next, uh, Lawn Fawn has many tiny stamp sets, which I think are great because the price point is lower. This one's fun. It says, baby, it's cold outside, alpaca my scarf. So this is the winter alpaca stamp set, and I think this one's going to be very popular since it's so much fun. Then there is the adorable Give Thanks stamp set. This one's super tiny, and I think it'd be great for simple cards. Then we have the Holiday Party Animal stamp set. Now these little animals are very popular from Lawn Fawn and check out all the tiny little images you can have him holding. You can have him hold everything from a candy cane to a shamrock to a uh, little pumpkin uh, basket or even a little pie. So this is one of those stamp sets that you can use all year round for lots of different occasions. Another tinier set from Lawn Fawn is Oh Snap. 
absolutely adorable. My son has already stolen this stamp set from me and plans to make lots of cards for his friends. I think it's really fun. So now a lot of people ask how I store these little stamp sets. I put a couple of them, either a couple of the bigger ones in a pocket, or I put as many as I can in a pocket. Not layering them up, but just fitting them in there together. And I store them with my regular stamp. So this pocket I could actually get four of these little sets in. And then of course I store the matching dies that you can get in the back of the pocket. Next we have the Winter Scripty Sane set. These images are almost six inches wide, so you can stamp them horizontally on a card and they'll go right all the way across or even diagonally on a horizontal card. I think it'd be fun to white heat emboss a bunch of them lined up kind of like they are on the stamp set onto a background and then do different colors of watercolor in between each sentiment. Or you can just stamp this as is on a background for like a tone on tone background on a holiday card. I also think it'd be fun to take the let it snow sentiment and kind of have it going, um, falling down from the top of the card kind of vertically and have some snowflakes on the bottom of, them, bottom of it. So it looks like the snowflakes are falling and the words let it snow are in the falling snowflake. Lots of fun sentiments in that set. Next we have Let's Boca. I just love these names. Boca is very popular right now for kind of like the overlapping of different size circles with different types of inks for fun backgrounds. I really like the shine bright sentiment on this um, on, in the set. I used on that reindeer card and also the other sentiments on top that work all year round. So there's a lot of fun techniques that you can do with layering these circles and I think you'll be seeing a lot of people using this stamp set especially with a mix of white pigment ink layered with colorful dye inks. And although I'm not showing in this video because I'm limited on time, uh, Lawn Fawn does have some pattern papers in 6x6 and 12x12 that have that fun bokeh print, so you have to be, be sure to check those out. Now we have Happy Harvest, just some fun, adorable images here. I think you'll see this one being used a lot on the internet too. I really like those sunflowers. There's this small and large sunflower, and I think it'd be fun to stamp that repeatedly in a pattern on the back of a card. I also think it'd be fun to take that little wagon with the pumpkins and have a little critter kind of pulling it across a card. Lawn Fawn does a really good job at making sure that you can use all of their stamp sets together in fun and creative ways. I'll be honest, I didn't think that I would be interested in any Halloween stamps. I don't do many Halloween cards, but this Booyah stamp set is really fun. Here's what you can do. You can create all these little ghosts with these fun little faces and these fun little hats. You can even create a Frankenstein ghost with a little scar or with a patch in the pirate hat. Lots of things you can match up here, and I think it'd be fun to do for some kids. They're kind of fun and playful. But here's what I plan to do with this. I plan to take these little hats and all these different wigs and stuff and use them on photo cards. I love making photo cards for my kids. So here I have my oldest daughter, Kay, who's away at college. I'm going to take one of her extra photos and I'm going to stamp a little hat and cut it out and put it onto her photo, maybe a little pirate hat, and do a little happy Halloween sentiment under it. So you can have a lot of fun with these little things. You don't have to use them just for the stamped images. You can even add them to some photos. I think kids always think it's fun to get a card with a photo on it. And of course there's the matching die set available. I love that Lawn Fawn has dies for all the tiny little pieces in the stamp set. Okay now for the dies themselves. This is the scalp rectangle stackables. Now Lawn Fawn's good about putting a lot in these sets so you really get good value. A lot you can do with these dies. I wanted to show you how the sizes work on a four and a quarter by five and a half inch note card. That's the most typical note card size and that's what that white piece is that you see that I'm stacking these all on. So you can see how these stack on here nicely. Then there is a larger die that actually cuts a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece. So you could actually have a scalloped edge note card if you wanted to. And then the die set actually has one scallop frame that's even bigger than that one. So if you're one of those people who likes to make five by seven cards, this one would fit nicely nicely on top of that too. You could even die cut one of the large scalp rectangles, fold it in half, and have the perfect place card for holiday tables. Now in the past Lawn Fawn has had the stitched leaves in a larger set and here is a smaller set and I think these are adorable. They offer the little stitching in the center of the leaves. It's kind of hard to see on these white dies or white die cuts but when you rub ink over it, check this out, you can really see the stitching on, on the center of the leaves. It really kind of brings them to life and really adds fun detail to it. I will definitely be die cutting and inking up a bunch of these to scatter across my Thanksgiving table. 
Now, uh, before I showed you the Scripty uh, Winter Sains and the stamp sets, there are also two border dies that are similar. We have Merry Christmas and Let It Snow. Again, these are long enough to kind of go diagonally on a horizontal card, or you can just put it right across the card. I really like that these can just be added after the fact to any card that you may create. Now, I've always been a fan of the Scripty dies from Lawn Fawn. I like that they're handwritten and they're bold. They're a little bit more bold than most script dies that you get out there. So you can die cut this from a pattern paper and still see the pattern, or you can do a fun technique on it and really see the technique. And they don't get lost when you put them on a busy background. Very nice, bold script die cuts. Next is the Scripty For You die. Now I love how these two words are positioned together and I think they'd be fun to put on to a circle uh, holiday tag so like that you would attach to any presents that you would have. I think I'm going to do all my holiday presents this way with the circle tag and the For You in the center and a gold uh, glitter paper. This is the, what the tag is from. This is the stitch circle tags, three different sizes, so you can use them on all of your holiday gifts. This is definitely the set that I'll be using because I really like that circle with the faux stitching around the uh, inside edge. We also have the mini snowflakes. I think these little snowflakes are absolutely adorable. I'm always looking for tiny ones. I feel like I have a lot of large snowflake dies. Now we have a bunch of different tiny ones. You could use the individual die cuts themselves, or you can repeatedly die cut all those small, small dies onto a background and create something fun that way too. These would be great to include in some fun shaker cards also, or you can die cut these from silver glitter paper and you can create a simple card with lots of elegance. The snowy backdrop die is similar to the stamp I showed you earlier. This die cuts a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece with all those little stars and dots. So you can put this on the front of the note card and just allow a little bit of color to show through. Lots of fun techniques that you can do with this and you could even use this as a stencil and put embossing paste over it. So these last few dies I'm really excited about. Now this is the pillow box die. I've made many pillow boxes using a variety of templates and such in the past, and this by far is the simplest I've ever done. All you have to do is fold along the two uh, score and fold lines, and then put some strong adhesive on this little flap. I'm using a double-sided tape after I remove the release paper from this. I just fold it closed and we have our pillow box already formed. You just press the sides in, look how easy they just pop right down and you're good to go. And this is the perfect size for a gift card. You could put little treats in here, little jewelry, whatever you want. And this is perfect for all holidays. I am so excited with how easy these are to put together. Now you could stamp this and decorate this before you assemble it and create something fun that way. However, Lawn Fawn has created something really cool. There are three die sets that you can use with this pillow box. The first is Give a Hoot. All you do with this one is you die cut the face from the front of the pillow box, of course, before you put the pillow box together. And then you die cut another piece, the wings, and you glue it to the back of the pillow box. And you have this cute little owl. Now you don't have to do this just from a pillow box. You could actually turn a little card into an owl if you want to. I asked Kelly Marie, the owner of Lawn Fawn, if I could show some samples that she did on her website. She said I could, and here are some that she created. The pillow box on the left, a little bag on the top, and a card on the bottom using that give a hoot die set. I just think this is so much fun and you can decorate him and color him too. There is also the peak a bat die set. Now this one creates little wings that you can attach to the back of the pillow box and then the cute little face that you can die cut from the front of the pillow box and again you could do this from a little gift bag or from a little card also and here are some samples that Kelly Marie created. By the way I will link to her samples on her blog and she's got videos showing how to create these but they're super simple. Next there is the ever so fun Santa's belly. Now this one is fun. All you do is you die cut those pieces and you uh, glue them on the front of the pillow box or a little card and you end up looking like Santa's belly. It's very fun and here are the samples that Kelly created. Isn't that adorable? Fun for a card, even a tag on a gift. Just a great way to kind of make a little pillow box maybe holding a gift card a little more special. Okay, so that covers the stamps and dies in this release. There are also some new inks. I am a big fan of the Lawn Fawn inks. Now they have five new dye inks, and then there's also a white pigment ink. I'm gonna put the white pigment ink aside. That's a little bit different than these others. Lawn Fawn dye inks are a fabulous ink and great for beginners and for basic stamping. I will link to a video here that gives more information about these inks. Be sure to check that out if you haven't. But now we have five new colors. 
Now I wanted to show you how great these stamp right away. So here are some inks that I stamped earlier today. And here I just stamped another one of that soot color and you can see that it stamps beautifully right away and it doesn't lighten too much with time. Another thing that I noticed is that these inks don't seem to stain my stamps as much as other inks. Now staining of stamps isn't a problem, not a problem at all, but I know some people are bothered by it. So the, this ink may be one that you would want to consider trying. Now folks always want to know how the new colors compare with other colors that are already out there. So I have my Ink Swatch book here to compare and I have Ink Swatch downloads, free downloads for all of these inks, including these new ones. So be sure to head over to my blog to get those. Now this is the new pumpkin spice color. This is a true orange color, but darker than most oranges I already have. It is a true pumpkin color. So if you are looking for a good solid orange ink, this is a great option. And I don't have many that are very similar. You can see they are, this one is quite a bit darker than the others, but teams up nicely with other colors already out there. It seems like most of the darker orange colors I already have are more of a brown orange, not a true orange like this pumpkin spice. Next we have the dark green noble fur. Now this is a true evergreen green, to me at least it is. It's like a good dark Christmas green. You can see it's more green than the others that I have here. My others seem to have a little bit more of a blue color to it. It teams up nicely with Fern from Simon Says Stamp. And the other great thing about it is check out with a lot of my other light green inks. It teams up nicely with a lot of these different shades also. It seems to be a good dark green ink to match up with a lot of lighter green colors. Next we have the purple color called Sugar Plum and my daughter walked by and declared this the prettiest of all the new colors. Now this is kind of a pinkish purple. It looks nice with the Hero Arts Grape Juice or the Purple Rain from Studio Calico. And I also like it as a darker version of the new Simon Says Stamp Hot Mama ink that has been really popular. I'll admit I didn't think I needed another purple ink but this is a great addition. We also have the color Doe. This is a great brown color for stamping critters, so it works great for lawn fun. You can see it's a little more red than some of the other medium color browns that I have, but it works great as a darker version of the soft sand and soft brown from Hero Arts. Those three together would be beautiful. There is also Soot, which is a super dark uh, brown color. It's almost black, but not quite black. You can see how it compares with some of the others here. I think it's fun to sometimes stamp a sentiment in a dark brown on a warm colored card instead of black. Lawn Fawn has also released their only pigment ink. This is called Yeti. It's a white pigment ink. White pigment inks stay wet a little bit longer so you can heat emboss them. And they're slightly opaque so you can stamp on dark colored cardstocks like you see here. This stamps very similar to the Hero Arts Unicorn white ink, which is my favorite. So if you're looking for a good white pigment ink, this is a great option for you. So that wraps up this release. I hope this video is helpful in deciding if you need to have any of these products. I'm sorry I had to rush through them. There were just so many things in the release. I link to all these products in my YouTube description below, or you can go over to my blog at jennifermcguireinc.com. I have a lot more information there, including the Ink Swatch downloads and a fun giveaway. Thanks for stopping by.